Currently, I teach BIS 490, where students create an interdisciplinary research capstone project. And I've mentored some of these students, and it has been so exciting to watch them present at the CHESS Annual Undergraduate Research Symposium in Horizon Hall. I love that event. Students present posters of their research project, and they answer questions about their projects. And they're so passionate about their research and excited to showcase their knowledge and learning. During the symposium, they get to demonstrate the new content they've mastered and how they strengthen their critical thinking skills. And you can see them making connections across disciplines. It's wonderful to see so many students wanting to make a real contribution to their community um, and to the academic research community as well. It's amazing to watch students transform into scholars and showcase how proud they are to develop these lifelong research and writing skills. I've heard so many students express that these skills help them throughout their career. So they'll come back and, and talk and rave about the um, research and writing experience at Mason. I think one of the great things about being both a Mason faculty member and a Mason alum is being able to have that unique perspective on the student experience and especially on the kinds of priorities and values and interests that bring students to our campus um, and seeing how those reflected many of the priorities, values, interests that brought me to George Mason as an undergraduate um, but also how those have changed and evolved over the years. It's been very, um, very exciting to see. As a staff member or a faculty member, you can get as involved or as little involved as you, as you want. And so for me, I just embraced it 100% and I really just wanted to be a part of the campus community as much as I could. I started working at George Mason in 2000 and then I had my son in 2002. So I was a pretty new employee at the time. And so I started asking around and people were like, no, but I've never heard of any group, but I think that's a great idea. You should start one. And so that's what I did. We had our first meeting in February of 2003 held in the Women's Center. At the time it was called that. It's now the Women and Gender Studies Center in the same location in the Johnson Center where we started the group over 20 years ago. It just makes me so happy to be a part of Mason, to be employed here for 24 years. The privilege to get to see students share their learning, share their knowledge, and gain new skills and knowledge, and to go on to create new knowledge and apply those skills in the world. Um, so I'm very proud of our students and I feel so honored to be part of their journey here at George Mason and to be able to help them along the way. Our students are amazing.